इंद्रो Why only few 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 people people are attracted to few objects and few people hate it? What is love and what is hatred? So why only you like only few things? In every act of your life, you have your likeness. Likeness. What is this being like? So you. are possessed with the happiness a momentary happiness by fulfilling that particular form of or rather act of life habit of life it is the art of life see it is the skill what the yoga sutras also say yoga karma su kaushalam yoga what is the definition of yoga karmasu kaushalam showing excellence in whatever you do yoga karmasu kaushalam what is yoga it is nothing but the act of your life which defines your kaushalam skill is kaushalam and when a man has this kaushalam he is lost in this particular act and he is at his excellence in the action of his life that is the reason you want people with great skills of implementation not knowledge implementation please understand that's the reason why people with skills could be weird but you are very purport of your organization institution vision mission everything depends upon you finding these right skill set people because these are the people who will show you a path of excellence because they are in excellence please understand the definition of skill set skill set means he has some beautiful inner revelations in the form of an act of his life where he can actually perform what you want that is the reason why find a person who can do or rather achieve this excellence in what you want to finally achieve in your life the other part see so so many things can be achieved there are so many companies organizations multi billion dollar companies multinational companies the reason why they stand the reason why they gain that reputation with all due respect i can say tata the tata sons that from india the great organization which is always in the pursuit of finding people with skill set because they know what's the value of skill set skill set is protecting the integrity the self integrity the person who has that integrity will not commit a mistake even in the darkest corners of this world or his office where he has great power he will not commit a mistake that is called as integrity when you find a person who is committed to this inner integrity that person is very much the person who is having the skill sets to achieve that excellence in whatever that we wanted to do trinity okay you see so everyone has their own manner of showing us the path whether it is by gnana or whether it is by gnata or whether it is by gnay the knowledge the knower the knowable the so knower and knowable are the objective and subjective counterparts and on which this show is being reflected is this particular thing which is called as the screen of this show
Bhuvaneshwari in Tara in Dasmahaditya. Bhuvaneshwari is the eternal space, the eternal Akasha, the Parama Akasha, the, the outer and inner Chinmudra. That is called as Swarachit Shakti, which is nothing but the trinity of Prana Shakti. Swarachit Shakti. And when you merge in this Swarachit Shakti, you are you. You found you. That is the eternal beingness. So you cannot say, I found myself. How can you say? What is the finding myself? Did you ever lose yourself to find yourself? What confusion is this? That is what very boldly Ramana Maharshi said and that is the reason why Ramana Ashram even today stands uncorruptedly because they know the purpose of their existence in this universe is to very very clearly send a message to the entire world of the great purpose of this life, the very purpose of this life. It stands for it and those people are committed to keep it like that, because even today Bhagavan Sri Ramana Maharshi is fulfilling, is performing his action. He is the Siddha Purusha. By visiting Ramana Ashram, you are going into the very powerhouse and you come out with great power in your path of self inquiry. Indro. Vishwasya Rajati <laughs>